Hello everybody, I am Chevy, and welcome back to another build video in my garage. I'm doing voiceover this time. I believe this is the first time I've ever done a voiceover. Um, and the reason is, this is a very simple build. I'm building a miter saw station, and you see that right there? That's why. Because uh, I'm tired of boards falling all over the place when I'm cutting them. I got this new uh, Evolution Rage 3 miter saw from Evolution Tools and uh, decided that it was finally time to build a miter saw station. I am building it completely out of these 2x4s that you're seeing here and um, some MDF and I have a piece of melamine laying around. So it's a very simple construction. I'm not doing anything particularly fancy. Here I'm just uh, assembling one of the what's essentially the face frame. I'm going to make two of these and then join them with some smaller cuts um, and there I've just got a little spacer that I use to make sure the bottoms are the same and now we're just measuring it for squareness. What I did here is I put one screw in each joint so that I could tweak the frame into square and then finish screw. And that just uh, kind of speeds the whole process up. Um, then, that way I'm not relying on that little six inch uh, speed square, t you know, to get it square. I can use my framing square, I can use the tape measure, and I can get a good good reference. So I'm building two of these, going to join them together. No glue on this project, it's shop furniture, it's not going to be taking a whole lot of abuse, and I want to be able to knock it down in the future because I'm sure it's not going to be a permanent installation. I say that now, but we know the truth. There I am, I'm using that spacer to uh, make sure the bottoms are the same. I, I like to use spacer blocks like that. Um, and stop blocks when I'm cutting more than using a, a tape measure and trying to get things accurate. Again, I'm going to do some cross measuring to see if I am on point. And then we'll go ahead and screw. I think I put three screws in each joint and no need to do a whole lot of overkill. So back at the miter saw, I'm just going to cut off, I think uh, these are 16 inch sections. The MDF that I bought for the top is uh, I think they call them ready panels. It's a pre-cut two, two foot by four foot piece. So this bench is two feet by four feet. And I think these pieces here were 16 inches or no, they were 18 inches uh, because they're going inside the frame pieces there. No, 16 inches, right? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, putting them together is a, you know, easy thing, especially when you have help. Helper showed up. So I was glad to have some... Uh, some company in the shop today and here is when I realized that I should have built this differently. <laughs> uh, I really don't like having those 2x4s put on that way. I wanted to put them in as end caps but unfortunately I had made the bench exactly four feet wide so I would have had to have taken it apart and cut uh, seven inches off of the length of the long stretchers and then reassemble so that I could put these 2x4s on the outside. Instead, I just drilled some deep countersink pockets, and I believe these were three and a half inch decking screws. So it's plenty strong, but it's just not not the way I intended on building this. For the bottom, I'm just putting in two pieces. I inset them here because if I ever built a shelf down there, I'm not going to go inside those legs. I hate it when there's shelves that I can't use a part of it because it's behind the leg. So I inset those base pieces so that, you know, if I build a cabinet, it'll just sit there. And here we're going to blow through this. That first bench was two foot by four foot. So here I'm just building a two foot by two foot. So essentially this bench will be eight feet wide. I'll have a four foot section, a two foot section, and then in between that a two foot section that is uh, lower than the rest for the saw to sit in. So this is just, I'm quickly going through building the two foot box. It's essentially the exact same thing. And there we go. So the two foot section is done. It's going to go to the right. Typically when I make longer cuts, I put the, the longer part of the board, I guess, on the left hand side. So I figured I didn't need it. And here uh, we had a little surprise. I built it, set it up, and... You're fucking kidding me, right? <laughs> this is not, this doesn't happen in real life. It's level. 
I didn't have to do any shimming, any finagling. <laughs> like it doesn't move at all. It just worked. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> so there's that two foot by four foot panel. It actually was 20 or it was 49 inches long. So I ended up having to trim an inch off of it. And I'm gonna hold this down with some screws, countersunk of course. Um, so this will be a permanent part of the bench. And then the melamine that I'm gonna put on top is just going to sit on top. You'll see that here in a minute. Um, here's just a close up of uh, pre-drilling and countersinking all of these. MDF does not, you, you really need to pre-drill MDF. Uh, of it. It, doesn't, it doesn't have fibers that can move and compress. So pre-drill. And there's the center section. I did, for some reason, did not film myself building this. It's a box, so. Uh, it's just a box that I'm screwing to the legs of the two halves of this bench, and that is where the miter salt will sit. So there we go. The melamine's coming in, and I'm just gonna it's just gonna float there. Here in a minute, you'll see the uh, edge banding that I'm gonna build. I'm gonna make, and then that's all that's holding this melamine in place is just it's captured by the edge banding. It can't slide off. But that gives me the ability to easily change it if it ever gets dinged up and damaged. And I didn't have to, I don't have to have screw holes. So here the saw uh, made beautiful 45s. I did have to get the registration of the blade vertically 90. That was not set very well from the factory. But the 0 degrees and the 45 degree stops um, referenced by the fence were absolutely dead perfect. Those miter joints came out flawlessly, so I'm really, really happy with how that worked out. And honestly, setting the stop for the vertical 90 degrees was not very difficult. Um, the saw stayed perfectly set all day while I was building this, and I moved it around a whole bunch, and uh, yeah. So I took the rubber feet off, and you see there I have some blocks of MDF. That's just so there's clearance for the, the arm to swing, and then I'm just going to screw it down. Just two screws. Uh, it, it doesn't really need to be fixed, uh, you know, hard into place because the saw is no longer taking the weight of whatever it is I'm cutting. It's going to sit on the bench. And that's it. Super easy build. Uh, I now have to figure out where to put all my furniture, but I also have space that I can build some nice cabinets under those shelves uh, or under those bench tops to uh, put some stuff in here. In the middle, I have a space where I could tuck my welder or I'll probably build a cart for my planer. So that's it. I hope you uh, got something out of this. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you uh, next time.